run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another charity shop haul. So as you can see, I'm rocking my merch today and since I'm rocking my merch, I thought I would do a little bit of a promo. So you can get 30% off any Ads Experience merch over on Teespring using the code BADS, that's B-A-D-Z. I almost forgot how to spell BADS then, that's terrible. It's like the easiest word to spell ever. But yeah, B-A-D-Z, use that code at the checkout when you are obviously checking out if you would like to purchase any of my merch. I think that brings the mug down to around nine or 10 pound or something, maybe 11 pound, I'm not sure. But if you wanna grab yourself any Ads Experience merch, do that. This will be for a limited time only, so possibly a week or two after this video has gone up. So yeah, that's there if you'd like to do that. But with that being said, let's get on with today's charity shop haul. I spent £75.50 and pence, and going off the highest prices I feel I can achieve for these items on eBay, I'd be looking to get back roughly £400. Now I'd say that's like the highest points that I feel I could achieve. So I may need to come down, but there is also a good chance that I may just get those prices as well. So uh, obviously I'm gonna be probably going high on most of this stuff. And as I say, they might get picked off for those prices. So 75 pound, 50 pence into 400 pound. Um, and yeah, let's see what I got. So let's get on with the first item. So first off, we've got this lovely sort of studio pottery, uh, stoneware, earthenware type jug. Um, I paid three pound for it there. Obviously it's been hand painted, really nicely done. And uh, you can see it's by D DC, is that? Is that how you pronounce it? DC, like the, com like the comics. Uh, D E E and then C W -E there as well. Um, and yeah, I picked up a thought for three quid. I'm having that. Now, there's some of this potter's work actually on eBay. Sometimes, you know, you get certain local potters, uh, local studio potters or smaller. Uh, studio potteries um, that simply aren't on eBay, uh, but this one was, and there was one jug similar, well not similar to this one in style, but I think similar to this one in size, that had gone for £14.99 plus postage, but it wasn't as, as uh, nice as this one, it didn't have that kind of appeal, this has a nice little bit of appeal, it's nice and bright and funky and quite happy, uh, you know, I would describe this as quite a, a happy and optimistic piece, because you've got nice bright colours and stuff in there, so from £3 I'm not going to go 14 99 I'm going to go 19 99 on this one. And I think that if I wait a little bit, I can achieve that. It has got a little bit of a firing fault around there. Don't know whether you can see that. It's not a chip or anything. It's just sometimes when we're in the kiln, um, obviously, they don't sometimes come out brilliantly. But some people actually like that. Some collectors of this stuff actually like those imperfections because at the end of the day, artistry is isn't always perfect you know p pieces of art are made by humans and humans in our nature are imperfect and so you know some people like that some people like the the different sort of characteristic um, sort of firing faults on these pieces so yeah three pound hopefully into 20 quid but it might take a little bit to sell I only picked this up because it was in the little 50p bin outside. It is poor pottery. Uh, it's like the standard pattern. I forgot what the pattern is. Is it, B, is it the BN pattern? I'm not sure. But uh, it's just like a standard uh, floral pattern that you see on these. I think this will have been done around late 60s, early 70s. It has the, what I, I like to refer to as the devil fish mark on there. So I believe that little mark there is 1967 to 1972, if I remember correctly. And then that is the artist mark so that's the person who actually painted this and stuff uh, i don't i can't recall what that artist is uh, but it has oh is this the le pattern and then the little crescent is the artist mark i'm not 100 percent sure but that little crescent there is definitely the artist mark but there's a little le above it and i'm not sure whether it's the pattern or whether that's again the artist's initials it's probably more likely the artist's initials rather than the pattern 
probably not going to be brilliant money. I'll probably be able to squeeze a tenner out of it. It might be a little bit more than that. You know, if I looked online, I've, I've actually done, I've done research on pretty much most of this stuff. There's a few pieces I haven't done. This is one of them that I've not done research on. But, you know, I can tell you with this one, it's probably not going to be much more than a tenner if it is. But, yeah, it's one of those items you can just about squeeze a tenner out of it. Um, and, yeah, you know, nice little item and everything. Nice little bit of pool pottery. But it's kind of a standard end of pool pottery. It's not Delphis or Atlantis or anything like that. You know, no, nothing incredible, but yeah, I always like it when I see that little mark. I, I'd say I always call it the devil fish mark. I, that's just my name for it, just to remember it. Uh, I don't know whether that's actually what it's called. It might be what it's called, but it looks like a little devil fish there. You got like little points on the back of it. It looks like a little devil. Woo, devil fish, you know. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just being random as always, but yeah, that's that one there. Thought I'd show you this, even though this isn't included in the kind of £75 into... Oh, actually, I should have said £72 into 400, or into 400 because I included this in the £75, but actually I'm going to keep this, and obviously I've not got a sales value attributed to this, so actually it's going to be £72.50 into roughly 400 quid, so yeah, even better really, but yeah, I'm not selling this, I paid three quid for it, it's at the Oxford Library of English Poetry, as most of you will be aware if you've followed the channel for a while. I'm getting into books, I'm getting into reading books and stuff, and poetry is another thing I want to read up on a little bit more. Obviously, I want to do the main kind of poets and stuff, and just have a, a browse of the poetry, really, because I think it would be quite interesting. So, I got this, I thought, for three quid, nice little box set here, probably loads of poems in there. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just have a little browse of that, and uh, at my own leisure, have a, have a little read and stuff. So, yeah, three pound for that, but obviously, I'm not selling it, but I thought I'd show it on the video anyway. Right, so I've been selling a lot of paintings recently. You may have seen on sales updates, I've probably thrown the odd painting in. I was getting them before the auction house that I previously used closed down, and I was getting them from there for around £2, £3 a painting, and they weren't brilliant ones or anything, but I was flipping them maybe into around, I don't know, 20 to 30 quid, something like that, depending on what I like about them, what, you know, what, what I feel they're worth and stuff, and some of them I might have charged a little bit more than that, actually. But I thought, you know what, they've been selling really well recently and I need to get some more paintings. Now this isn't a brilliant one or anything, but I thought it's three quid. It's a nice little scene. It's actually an oil, is it an oil on canvas? I'm guessing it's on, yeah, it is on canvas actually. So it's an oil on canvas, um, three pound. Obviously, well, I don't know whether oil on canvas go worse or better, um, but I'm just imagining, because obviously I like watercolours more than oil on canvas, I'm just, I suppose, projecting my feelings into it, but um, I would have said that watercolours go better, but I don't know. I, I don't know what the market's actually like, but I just like watercolours better. But this is an oil on canvas, nice little scene. It looks like it's in the mountains, so it almost looks like Alaska, that, doesn't it? Or somewhere like that. Um, but yeah, £3 there for this nice little scene. It is signed, actually, but I can't see the signature, so I'm going to have to look what that says. Oh, is it Gino? G it, it, it definitely says G-I-N, but I just can't make out the last letter. It definitely says G-I-N. Might be an O. It might be it might be an A or something. Gina. Gino. Gina. I don't know. Something like that. But anyway, I'm thinking of probably going 15 to 20 on that. Something like that. Um, and just see, really. See if it goes. It's one of those things that I thought I'd take a punt on for three quid. Um, and it will go eventually. But obviously, it just depends on how long that's going to be. Uh, some paintings can go really, really quickly, actually, or pretty quickly. But then, oh, sorry about the lighting. It's going a bit, you know, there's a little bit of exposure and stuff, so I apologise. But, um, yeah, so uh, it just depends on how long it takes, really. But, yeah, 15, 20 quid on that one, so pretty happy with that one. Right, so next piece is a little bit dusty and dirty and stuff. I think it'll come off if I just kind of rub, have a rub at it and stuff. It should come off. But there's a little bit of dirt and marks and stuff to it. It's one of the larger backgammon sets. You get these in smaller versions with, the, like, this leverette case. You get smaller versions of this, and then you get a larger version like this. It is fully complete. In fact, I will get it out. Um, you know, I don't know how well this is going to work, actually, but we'll we'll see. We'll hope that it works okay. Uh, let me just see. I don't, I don't know how well you're going to see that, so I apologise about the view, but, yeah, you can kind of see it there. Um, I paid, as I say... It's on there, four quid I paid for that. And I've seen these go all over the place. Some of the smaller ones in these cases, so the smaller one, the smaller version than this, 
goes for maybe 15-ish, something like that. There's, there's a few that, that, that have actually gone for less than that. And then most of the bigger ones that I've seen are around the 20 mark, possibly 25. I think there might be one or two that have gone for around 25 to 30. But yeah, it's going to be around that 20, 25 mark, I would imagine, plus my postage. 20 being kind of absolute minimum. But yeah, I thought I would pick it up. Um, but as I say, it does have, it actually has a bit more wear on there. It does feel like it'd come off, but it needs a bit of elbow grease to actually get it off, you know. Um, but there is some marks and stuff to it. But yeah, I think with a bit of, with a good bit of elbow grease, it is starting to slowly come off, but I would need... I would need a good bit of elbow grease to get it off. But yeah, there's just a few bit, uh, marks and bits and bobs on it. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's that one there. Right, I was so happy to find one of these in a charity shop for a reasonable price because every time I find these, every time I find this item in a charity shop, it's always like 10 or 15 pound. And I absolutely love picking these up. And it is an enamel bread bin. Oh, it's the wrong way round. It would help if it was the right way round. An enamel bread bin. Now you can see there's a little bit of chips to the enamel. Now, to be honest, you can get these where loads of the enamel is chipped. And some, uh, you know, most people I imagine don't particularly like it. But I would imagine there's also those people out there who actually do like a little bit of the enamel chip. But with this one, to be honest, it's not bad. I mean, you can see in there, a tiny little bit of the enamel coming off there, but nothing major. And then to the inside, it's actually pretty decent. Again, there's a tiny little bit coming off there. Um, but yeah, nice little enamel bread bin. Well, actually, quite big enamel bread bin. Uh, it says on the bottom there, made in Poland. And I've not seen this exact one, but I've seen many other ones on Complete and Sold. Very similar ones. Also, a few other Polish ones as well. Go for any... Really, it's a, it's a full range, to be honest. It's between around 15 and, let's say, around 35 quid being the absolute kind of top end of what I've seen. Generally, a lot of them are coming between 20, 25, possibly 30. I think I'm going to go around 25 on this item. I might push 30, I might go 30, but I think if I did go 30, I'd end up having to come down a little bit. But yeah, so possibly around 25, and I didn't pay 10 quid or 15 quid or anything. Um, as I said, I was so happy to find one for a reasonable price. I paid £4. I don't know how well you're going to pick that up, but I paid £4 on that. So I thought I'd definitely have that. Oh, God. I definitely have that for £4. Oh, wait. Uh, a comment from Sue. Some lovely sales there, lads. Really enjoyed this. Oh, thank you very much, Sue, if you're watching this video as well. Um, but yeah, I, I never get comments while I'm recording another video. Uh, but yeah, so that's that one. Really, really happy with that. And, you know, I know some people are like, oh, you've got to package that up and all the rest of it. But to be honest, I'm used to packaging these kind of things up and stuff. And I quite enjoy it. You know, if you get, if you go into your packaging area, you get a bit of music on or whatever. You don't have to have music on, but sometimes I do. You get a bit of music on, you know, you get flowing with it. It's quite nice. It's not too bad. Obviously, if you have about 30 items to package up, it can get a little bit taxing. But if you've got a few to package up, and you can just kind of just enjoy it and go with the flow kind of thing. So, yeah. That's that one there anyway. Now, I mentioned about me selling paintings recently, and I am kicking myself. So I go into the charity shop, the one where I got the majority of this stuff from actually, uh, today, and I'm looking all around, and I'm actually seeing a few bit, bits and bobs today, and I was getting quite excited. And I see these two paintings on the wall, and I go over and take them down and everything, but there's this woman in there, um, and she gets down this other painting that I didn't see. I hadn't seen it. And she gets it down and she looks at it over at the counter. And then I walk over and I say to her, oh, that's a lovely painting, that is, isn't it? I didn't see that one. And uh, thinking to myself, oh, God, that's a really good painting. Anyway, so it was in a lovely, it was in a frame like this. But actually, this one's a little bit less quality. Um, I'll show you the difference in quality, actually. There's a slight difference. And I don't know whether you're going to be able to see it quite massively in these paintings or not, in these frames. But can you see that on there? You know, that's obviously a gilt frame, you can see. And it's a fairly half-decent quality gilt frame. But then this one, it's a little bit more shiny, and I don't know whether you're going to see it. 
little bit more shinier and it's just slightly, it indicates to me that it's maybe just slightly lesser quality. However, the gilt frames are good, you know, even if, you know, that gilt frame's still good, but it just seems slightly less quality. Anyway, this other painting, uh, like a rectangular painting of a cricket match, and it was kind of like a cricket, it wasn't a uh, real vintage, you know, like a, well, the painting was fairly vintage, but I don't mean that the, the cricket scene in the painting, it wasn't like from the 1920s, the actual scene or anything. But, so it looked like, you know, I don't know what the scene, maybe 50s or 60s or something the scene was, I'm not sure. And then it was like on the backdrop of a nice house and stuff. And it had a lovely frame to it, absolutely lovely frame. Better, better gilt frame than these two here that I'm about to show you. And it, had, it was signed and it was absolutely lovely, probably about... 45 centimeters 50 uh, yeah about 50 centimeters it may be a bit more actually i'm thinking yeah because they're about no I'd, I'd say maybe about 70 80 centimeters i might be getting that wrong but lovely painting anyway stick it up at 15 quid now i don't know what i'm doing with paintings don't get me wrong i haven't a clue i'll never profess to be anyone brilliant with it i'm just uh see what i like I buy it and, you know, you can see the results on sales updates. I buy these, I buy some paintings from auction for two or three quid. I flip them into, you know, 25, 30 quid. And, that, and that's ha I'm happy with that. And that's a good result. And, I, and I'm happy with my ability in, in that kind of realm. But anyway, so I see, I'm thinking, God, I, you know, I keep look, looking at it. And then, and then obviously she takes it away. She ends up buying it. And I'm thinking, God, that, that, that was probably a 70 to 100 pound painting on eBay, possibly even more. And uh, it probably may have, might have been 150 quid. I don't know because I don't know what I'm doing really, but I knew it was of good value. I could just see the quality in it. And I was kicking myself. I was like, oh, God. And I said to the, the guy in there, the manager, because I know him, I said, oh, I'm kicking myself. I should have bought that paint. Anyway, so I bought these two, £7 and £10. I'll get them up for you. Now, I apologise again. The lighting is going to go a little bit. So it's just the way it is it, how I'm set up in this room. I do apologise, but there's not a lot I can do with it. Um, so I don't know how well you're going to see that. Now this one, yeah, this one is the pheasants. Again, I think it's an oil, this one, or maybe it's like a, go is it a gouache? G no, that's not how you pronounce it. Is it G-O-U-C-H-E? Go, oh, I can never pronounce it, I don't know. But you'll know what I mean anyway. Isn't that where it's a mix of two different um, styles of, uh, like, isn't it acrylic and oil? Is that a mix of acrylic and oil, a gouache, or... I don't know. I did art at GCSE and I, I got a D, so I haven't a clue. Um, but yeah, £7 for this one in its frame. Now, of course, the frame's worth that alone. But you know what? I think it's a nice little theme, Matt. It's much better. It's a much better painting than some of the ones I've got from the auction houses. Now, of course, it is kind of in that traditional style. And I do believe at the moment, now, don't quote me on this, but I do believe from the feel of the market, let's say, just my kind of instincts with it, the traditional style paintings, you know, traditional landscapes and stuff like that aren't really in fashion so much at the moment. It's maybe other styles of art. Now, I couldn't tell you what the main style of art in fashion is at the moment, but I don't think it's these traditional paintings. That is not to say that they are worthless, and that is not to say that there aren't people out there waiting to buy them. I myself uh, might be quite hard to believe but actually you know as a young guy i'm very interested in traditional art i'm not interested in modern art i'm not you know i, I see the appeal uh, and i see the appeal to a many different uh, you know art forms but for me personally i love traditional landscapes you can see i've got landscapes on my wall here you know i've got little traditional watercolor style ones here i love that kind of style i don't profess to know anything about it i just like the look of it basically um but this seven quid i'm thinking on this one around 40 quid now as i say i don't know too much about uh, painting and prices so someone in the comments can please feel free you can shout at me and you can scream and you can say oh you're underselling that or whatever because then obviously i'll be able to price it better but i was thinking for this one maybe 40 to 50 pounds something like that um, and I think that's a reasonable price for what it is. It's going to give me a good profit. And I think it's attainable. I really do think that's achievable. It is signed as well. 
A. Dakin. So it may be worth me doing a little bit of research into the artist before I go ahead and list it because you never know that name could be worth something even more. It might be over a hundred pound painting or whatever. But nice little painting this one. Got a nice couple of little pheasants in there. Um, and yeah, seven pound for that one anyway. And then this one, I don't know why this one was ten pound and the other one was seven pound. I suppose this is a little bit nicer kind of landscape. Uh, I suppose maybe it could be to do with the frame. There's actually a bit of dust on this frame here, so I'd have to just get that off, but it'll come off quite easily. So again, I think this frame is a little bit better quality. Uh, the, the gilt frame, I, I don't know why, but I just feel it is. It just seems like it's a, just a touch better quality. It's also got this material around it. The, oh no, the other one doesn't have that material around it. And that's quite nice. I do like it when we put this little bit of a, a border of material around these paintings. I really do feel it makes them... It makes them look better quality. I don't know why that is, but yeah, ten pound for this one. Again, I'm thinking of going similar. I'm thinking more like fifty quid on this. I wouldn't go forty. I want to go about fifty quid on this one. Again, this is signed J. Is that J Holland? I think it's J Holland. It says uh, so. J Holland on the bottom there. In fact, I'll just give you a quick look at that thing. You won't be able to see it very well, but. There's a signature there. Um, and yeah, she's got these trees and stuff, a nice calm water kind of thing. And it is a nice painting. If I had room, I'd probably keep one of these paintings, to be honest. But I've got so many different paintings up. I just don't have the, the wall space, really, without it making it look too cluttered. Um, but yeah, £10 for that one. Again, I'm thinking around 50 But again, I want to do some research on the artist just to make sure I'm not shooting myself in my foot. But yeah, Jay Holland there. Um, and yeah, I like that. And to, to tell you the truth, I'm really enjoying selling paintings. You know what I'm like with how lazy I am. Uh, I don't like testing things. I don't like doing anything with things anymore. You know, I've said that so many times. So I just like getting things that I can whack on a photo area, photograph and then list. I don't want to test. I don't want to clean. I don't want to, you know, obviously I'll have to clean this tiny little bit, but not much. Um, so yeah, I like paint. I've really been liking paint, so I would like to get into selling paints a lot more. I, you know, I'm not going to say I'm going to be exclusively paintings or anything, but uh, just get into selling them a bit, bit more if I can find them. Um, and also, you know, you can make fantastic money with paintings if you start knowing what you're doing. Uh, you know, I'm sure you can pick paintings up for 10, 20 quid from boot sales and charity shops and stuff and make, you know, 200 quid, 100 quid, 300 quid, whatever, and possibly even a lot more than that. But obviously, when you're going up, to a certain price level, it's going to be more rare finds, you know, you're not going to find them as often, you know, you're not going to find a thousand pound painting every week, even if you know what you're doing in charity shops or car boots, because the, the items simply aren't there. But you can certainly find, you know, 100, 200 pound paintings pretty regularly, just like, you know, certain people do with video games or other things, they find like 100 or 200 pound items or electronics, you know, certain people quite regularly at boot sales find 100 pound, 200 pound uh, VCRs or DVD players and stuff. So, you know, it's just like that, really. They are out there, there's items out there and... I would like to explore that a little bit more because I, I just seem to I've always liked paintings but I don't I don't profess as I say I don't profess to know anything about them so yeah that's that one there anyway so then next and I know this is getting to be a very long video I know I've rambled quite a lot if you don't like it I'm sorry but that's just how it is that's how I that's just how I am I can't I literally can't change that I can try and do it really quick but it just ends up that I start rambling anyway so it's like oh what can you do all I, all I could suggest to you is if you think I'm going to start rambling, just skip on a little bit and then, you know, and then kind of see if I can get to the next item sort of stuff. I don't know, try something like that. Or look on your little, because you can go on YouTube and you can see a little kind of preview of me as you're scrolling along. So then maybe you can find a little preview bit where I'm on to the next item and then skip. I don't know, do something like that. I don't mind. Um... So yeah, oh did I, oh yeah, I've got that on there. So, I got a uh, large selection of Butler and Ryles, R -Y, R -Y -L, uh, no, R -Y, yeah that's right, R oh my god, this is terrible today, R-Y-A-L-S, that's what I'm trying to say, Ryles, something like that, Butler and Ryles Cutlery for £40. Now they were in a charity shop for quite a while, they were sticking up at 60 quid. And I was like, mm, should I go on them at 60 or not? And I decided to leave them one week. And I was kind of like, oh, should I have left them or shouldn't I? And I didn't really want to quite pay 60. Um, but they had obviously only just been put in there. And I didn't want to barter with them or anything when they'd only just been put in there. 
But I got these for 40 quid because I saw that they'd reduced them um, after a couple of weeks or something. So I got these 40 quid, plenty of stuff here, uh, and plenty of good value. This is probably going to be the best value out of, out of the haul, really. So this bundle, as I say, uh, 40 quid. So first off, we've got these, and I've stickered all these up with the prices. I've done some research and stuff on, on all of these. So 15 to 20 quid on these Butler Dewberry EPNS 4 tablespoons. You can see there on the side. Um, so I'm just going to get these out very quickly. As you can see, Dewberry uh, butler tablespoons for them there and again as i say looking at 15 to 20 pound on those i think there was two of these or yeah is it two of these that had gone for about 12 quid or something so yeah i, I thought for four of them 15 to 20 is very reasonable. I think even 20 is pretty reasonable. Um, so yeah, so that's those. And they're also in this little box as well, so that's quite nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to go 20 on them. I won't go 15 first off, but I may need to reduce to 15. But yeah, 20 quid on those, plus my postage, of course, as well. So yeah, that's those there anyway. So next we've got this, um, it's sort of like a cake slice or possibly a pie server, but I actually typed in cake slice and one very, very similar to this came up. So that's why I'm referring to it as a cake slice. And again, don't know what, oh, you can see me, you see yourself there, or see the camera. Don't know whether you'll actually be able to see that, but uh, George Butler uh, and co, it says on there. Um, and one very similar to this, same makers, Butler, has gone for £28 on, or, no, that wasn't on auction, that was on Buy It Now. It's been sold for 28 quid. So I'm possibly going to price the same. However, I might go for maybe 20 or 25 because it wasn't the exact same one. So it might be that that one's just worth slightly more. But I still think I could get around 20 quid for this fairly comfortably. Oh, I've got an offer. Things are popping up on my phone like crazy when I'm doing this whole video. Um, but yeah, so... I'm thinking around that anyway. I may well go the same price, sort of 28 quid, and just see and then maybe reduce, but that's that anyway. So pretty much between those two items, or very close to it, I'll be, I'll be almost in profit. So yeah, that's those there. Uh, next, we've got some tea knives. Now, two of these tea knives, as you can see here, these are Butler tea knives again, so it's again this Butler brand. Two knives had sold for £12. I've got six of them in this little set here, so I'm possibly going to go around 30 plus my postage, of course. £30 on the six I wrote down there. And you can... See, oh, have I got six? No, no, I've got eight. Oh, I've got eight. No, I'm, I'm, I didn't, I didn't realise that. I miscounted. I've got eight there. I don't know whether you can see them very well, but I've actually got eight. So I might revise that price and go possibly a little bit higher, uh, maybe 35, maybe 40. I think 40 might be pushing it a bit, though, but maybe 35 or something. So actually, that's pretty decent. Um, I need to change that to, say, eight as well there. And then 35. I'll just check because I'm going to use these post-it notes for when I'm phot photographing and listing and stuff. So, yeah, that's those there anyway. Um, and then this is, these are Ryland, Ryland's, 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 oh, I can never say that, Ryland's forks, but these are, I'm not able to form a set with these, because they're like kind of odd quantities of forks, so... I don't know what I'm going to go for on these. I've actually put them down in the kind of £400 thing as just £10. But I think I can get more for these than that. You can see in here there's quite a lot of forks. or You, are, you probably won't be able to see that very well. There's, there's basically about 12 or 13 forks. Possibly even more than that. Um, so yeah, it, it's very likely that I'll get way more than £10 on them, but I just put them down as that in the £400 thing, just to be conservative. So yeah, that's those there anyway. So I might even possibly get around 20 quid for that. So that's definitely in profit on the job lot now. So next, we've got some Butler, uh, du Butler Dubai Fish Eaters. Uh, and unfortunately, and it's really annoying me, so you can see in here, lovely little set, nice, you know, set of fish eaters, but... Can you see that one of the fish knives there? Oh, I don't know whether you can see that. I apologise, you won't be able to see that. But it actually says Riles. So one of the fish knives out of all of them is from a different brand. So that's really annoying. But I still think someone's going to have these despite that. Because there's someone who's going to obviously want to use these. So I still think I'm going to go for 30 quid. Oh, I don't, I'm going to just uh, 
peel that off and show you there. 30 quid-ish on these, because it's a nice little set, even despite one of those knives being of a different brand. It will put some people off, uh, I totally understand that, but obviously I'm gonna put that in the description and stuff, uh, snap a photo of that other one that's a different brand, and uh, I'm sure someone will still pick it off for 30 quid, but it may, as I say, it may put a few people off, so yeah, that's that one there anyway. And then we've got another couple of bits with kind of odd quantities, so these are Lyle's knives, again, just odd quantities, and I don't feel I'm able to set these, so it might be worth doing like a bundle of the two together with these Lyle's things, uh, and then obviously I might be able to get a bit more, I don't know whether I'd do that and buy it now or auction, um, or I might do the knives separately and the fork separately, but it kind of feels silly to do that, I may as well like bundle them up even though they're not really set kind of thing, uh, and someone will have them because even odd sets of cutlery and stuff, you can still make money on. Don't go thinking, oh, well, that's that that's a write-off or anything. You'll still make money on them. It's just a shame because, obviously, we've got a nice set, then we're going to go for more money. Um, but, yeah, so that's some odd cutlery again. They're just odd random pieces. And then we've also got some butler forks here. Um, again, just an odd quantity of them. I'll show you these. Actually, I didn't show you the other wild uh, ones but obviously because they're just an odd quantity they're just random forks in here they're also different sizes so i've got a couple i've got a few of this size and then i've got a few of a larger size there as well so it's a bit of a shame really you know but what are you gonna do you know that's how it came to me in i still thought it was worth going on even at the 40 quid and i was very well aware that these were kind of there was a few bits and bobs that were a bit odd or a bit um, wrong quantities but I still thought, thought as I say it was worth going on so that's that one uh, next we've got some Ryle's uh, soup spoons and I think I've seen one lot of these go for it was was it 12.99 or 14.99 or something for like the six soup spoons uh, so I've gone for 10 to 15 I might be tempted to go 15 on those plus my postage see if anyone uh, bites it you know bites at that price might need to come down for maybe 12.99 but yeah so that's this Ryle's um six soup spoons so that's those next we've got some Ryle's tablespoons again there's six of them here and then, oh some cutlery is falling there and again i'm going to go 10 to 15 possibly go 15 and then come down a little bit um so yeah that's those anyway next i've got a couple of uh these are just tablespoons butler tablespoons these ones and it actually seems that just two of these i'm going to be looking at around or i'm going to be trying at around a tenner there was a, one of these bundles Maybe it was the soup spoons, actually. But I did actually see two butler spoons go for around 12 quid or something, which is which is crazy just for two spoons. But this butler brand must be a half-decent make. Obviously, I don't think it's a brilliant, brilliant make, but it must be a half-decent make. Um, but, yeah, so possibly 10 quid on the two tablespoons there. If I need to come down, then I will come down. I'll just bite the bullet and just come down. But... I'm going to try that, you know, for now anyway, so that's those. Now, these are the soup spoons. I've seen there's actually a listing, I think it, I think it's the butler soup spoons, it might be the tablespoons, but there's a listing on for one spoon for $7.99 and there's nothing else on. I don't know about sold, I think again I might have seen one for around 10 quid or something for a couple of these spoons. I'm not sure, it was either these or either the tablespoons, I can't remember. But again, I'm gonna go around 10 pound and then possibly 10 quid on the two soup spoons there. And we'll see, again, if I have to come down a little bit then so be it. Um, but it seems like these spoons seem to be a little bit in demand. It seems to be that it's a half decent make, so we'll see. And then finally, I've got some butler knives. I think there's eight here. Yeah, there's eight knives here. Um, and I'm thinking on these eight, 20 to 30. Now, I don't know what has made me say that. I was doing a bit of research, but I can't remember whether I saw any uh, on solds or anything. But for eight of them but butler knives, as I say, I've wrote down 20 to 30 here. I think 30 might be pushing it a little bit. But I do think on eight of those knives, considering this butler brand and it seems to be decent, and also this Dubarry pattern, which again, looking on completing souls more generally, this Dubarry pattern from butler seems to do okay. So I mean, you know, eight knives, something like that. As I say, it might be shooting a little bit at 30, but possibly uh, 20 I should get on those. So yeah. 
that's uh, 20 quid for those eight knives and that is everything so i know it's been quite a long one so thank you very much for sticking with me if you have don't forget if you did like the video if you liked what i picked up today and you're happy that i finally got a decent size haul because i'm very happy that i finally got a decent size haul from my charity shops whack that like button um and yeah Obviously, if you like this as well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, and as I say, I'll mention again, uh, merch. Obviously, if you go to the checkout over on Teespring with any of the Ads Experience merch over there, the link will be down below. Put in the checkout, in the little voucher code or coupon code thing, BADS. So that's the code BADS, B-A-D-Z. And you will get 30% off your order. So that is absolutely awesome discount. So take advantage of that if you would like an ads experience mug which are actually pretty cheap at the moment i don't think they're incredibly expensive the hoodies are a little bit much and i would like to come down on the price on those but teespring eat me up with fees the amount of the amount of uh money they charge to actually produce this stuff is astronomical and it means that i have to put my prices up like crazy to make any sort of margin but obviously with the 30% off you'll be able to grab that for a little bit cheaper i think the hoodies should be coming in around £20 with the 30% discount. It'll be around that anyway. So that's pretty reasonable for a hoodie. It's not too bad. And the t-shirt should be pretty cheap with the 30% off as well. So if you want any of the Ads Experience uh, merch, then now is the time to get it. I'm not going to be doing this all the time. I'm not going to be doing the promos all the time. Uh, I will be doing them somewhat frequently but i won't be doing them all the time it'll only be once every few months kind of thing so occasionally is probably the right word so if you want one of these grab yourself one now i'll say the link to my store will be down below and with that being said with that plug out of the way um i will see you in the next one so take care of yourselves make sure that you're picking some good stuff up as we come into quarter four obviously or as we're getting close to quarter four it's now the 10th of september as i'm recording this by the time this goes up it may well be um very very close to quarter four um so yeah make sure you're picking loads of stuff up make some money and uh, and yeah hopefully you'll be able to have a good christmas with all that profit so with that being said i'll leave it there and i'll see you in the next one so see you very soon guys